to the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. Key is knowledge. The third key that controls restoration. Are we still together? Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. So number one, the power of self-examination self-evaluation number two the power of brokenness the third key that controls restoration in this kingdom is knowledge proverbs chapter 11 please and verse 9 help us media proverbs chapter 11 and verse 9 the bible says an hypocrite with his mouth destroyeth his neighbor the b part says but through knowledge shall the just be delivered through knowledge shall the just be delivered this is a kingdom that operates like i stated earlier operates by light is it possible is it possible to have excuse me is it possible to give the new converts the forms and then they can fill it on their seat and then when i'm done praying i can still request that all of them get back will that be fine Will that be fine sir or well anyway just i just thought so that it doesn't bring any distraction praise the lord let's continue knowledge everyone say through knowledge shall the just be delivered one more time through knowledge shall the just be delivered there is a relationship between knowledge and victory there is a relationship between knowledge and deliverance. There is a relationship between knowledge and restoration. The same way ignorance leads to losses, knowledge can lead to restoration. Isaiah chapter 60 and verse 1, a scripture I love to quote so much. Here's what it says. Arise, shine. Why? For your light is come not that your light is available it's always been there but when it comes to you it sustains the power to make you arise and to shine for your light is come and the glory of the lord is risen upon you i wish we can have the amplified rendition the amplified says let me quote it for time it says arise from the depression and the prostration in which circumstances have kept you it says rise to a new life arise from the prostration the depression that circumstances have kept you rise to a new life oh beautiful we have it here it says be radiant with the glory of the lord why for your light has come everyone say my light has come, light has come. prophesy it over your destiny my light has come <laughs> prophesy it over your family my light has come light is powerful is it not light that turns night into day what did your bible say about the night that weeping is related to the night time it endures for the night it says but joy it ties light to joy for as long as there is night in your life weeping continues but the moment illumination light comes to you then you arise in joy you need to pant after knowledge knowledge of the ways of god knowledge of the mysteries of the kingdom you must access wisdom by light scripture says talking of wisdom by me kings reign and princes decree justice it says it says with me are riches wealth and honor yea durable riches and righteousness job 29 the exploits of job job was recounting the basis for his victory what was responsible for him being the greatest man in the east please give us job 29 the first four verses are we still together tonight moreover job continued his parable and said oh that i were in the months past he says as in the days when god preserved me 
when his candle everybody say light when his light shined upon my head and when by his light i walk through darkness there are two kinds of light you need to advance the one that shines on your head and the one that shines on your path the one that shines on your head is for knowledge the one that shines on your path is for direction job said this light was on my head and was on my path for he says as i was in the days of my youth when the secrets of the lord were upon my tabernacle in fact let's extend a bit go ahead and read when the almighty was yet with me and my children were about me when i washed my steps look at the fringe benefits of access to light i washed my steps with butter the rock poured out oil rivers of oil uh-huh it says i went out to the gate through the city when i prepared my seat in the street what happened the young men by reason of this light they hid themselves and the aged ones stood up the princes refrained talking and laid their hands on their mouth ten the nobles held their peace and their tongue cleaved to the roof of their mouth when the ear heard me it blessed me and when the eye saw me it gave witness to me just stop there the exploits of light you want advancement and even restoration it is it's at the mercy of the lights that you have this beautiful auditorium is well lit both your led screens the tvs and then the auditorium why because there's sufficient light if you put a candle here it's not light enough to turn the night into day you need high level spiritual illumination are we together the last key that controls restoration is the prophetic hmm Isaiah 42 and verse 22 the prophetic was given by God as an instrument of restoration Isaiah 42 please pay attention we're about to pray we're about to pray Isaiah 42 and verse 22 media help us let's read together can we read ready one to read but this is a people robbed and spoiled uh-huh they are all of them snared in holes they are hid in prison houses they are taken for a prey and none say it delivereth for a spoil and none say yet restore restoration must be spoken to happen it says they are taken for a prey and there is no prophetic voice that can speak and say restore restoration second kings chapter 6 and verse 1 a classic expression of restoration hallelujah someone's life is about to change Amen. and the sons of the prophet said to elisha watch this now behold now the place where we dwell with thee is too straight or small for us let us go so this was an intention to go forward but something happened are we together let us go we pray thee unto jordan the place of breakthrough and take thence every man a beam and let us make us a place there where we may dwell and he said go ye when he gave that instruction one said be content i pray thee to go with thy servants and he answered i will go so he went with them and when they came to jordan they cut down wood the bible says but a tragedy happened listen carefully now but as one was felling a beam the axe head fell into the water and he cried and said alas master i am in trouble i've lost something now my sincere intention to go forward has brought me trouble and that axe was borrowed watch the prophetic the man of god answered and said calm down you are safe the prophetic is still within your reach where fell it ha, the lord is speaking to someone where fell the relationship where fell the favor where fell the open door and he showed him the place 
please keep the scripture and he cut down a stick and cast it in theater and the iron did swim and he said take it up to thee and he put down his hand and took it i will restore through the instrument of the prophetic an axe head heavier than water but under a certain condition i i i prophesy to someone in the name of jesus christ the son of the living god you now see what happens when our father baba debo you would stand and say in the name of jesus casually speaking everything you have lost let it be restored and people say amen and people return with testimonies and say my child who has been missing for 10 years let me tell you this i know that the prophetic may have been abused here and there but when the prophetic is administered within the balance of scripture it is powerful no man can rise beyond a certain threshold until the prophetic lifts you i tell you this i had the honor and the privilege of meeting our father again not too long and when he was praying and speaking over my life i knew it was coming from the depth of his heart he sent everybody out of the room and began to speak from the depth of his heart i knew he was not just advising he was programming realities can i tell you this as powerful as jesus is he walked under a close heaven for 30 years until a prophet opened his heavens your jesus was under a close heaven for 30 years until he met a prophet called john the baptist even if you are a midwife when you are pregnant and you are about to give birth another midwife will have to help you <laughs> hear me this is where the arrogance of our generation has pegged men you can respect yourself but you cannot honor yourself honor is conferred by another <laughs> fire is about to fall in this place listen to me many of you have lost please take it hard for me listen carefully there is a prophetic word that I want to bring and then we'll pray I will not take too long we'll be done shortly please be sensitive now I just sense angelic activities in this place Nehemiah chapter 5 and verse 11 Nehemiah 5 Champions Cathedral The city of Wari South of the Niger Hear the word of the Lord He said restore I pray you to them even when even when are you reading with me not tomorrow restore even this day their lands their vineyards their olive yards their houses a hundred part of the money and of the corn and of the wine and of the oil that he exact of them listen please look up Every time many of you are businessmen many of you read economies there is always whenever there is a taking it leaves someone and goes to the hand of another is that true who did your breakthrough when it left you where did it go because the Bible says when you catch a thief he doesn't only restore he restores tenfold ezekiel 37 i was taken 
we are still buttressing on this prophecy this is the prophetic word the lord gave me tonight nehemiah but hear me the hand of the lord was upon me we are reading ezekiel 37 he carried me out in the spirit and set me down and he showed me a valley full of bones bones means they were once an army but something happened he caused me to pass by them they were very many and they were very dry that means they had been there a long time verse 3 he said unto me son of man champions cathedral can this business leave can this family leave can this anointing be restored the prophet was honest he said lord with this situation i'm seeing only thou knowest and then he spoke to him and he said to me prophesy he said to me prophesy he said to me prophesy verse 5 cause breath to enter you so that you will live verse 6 beautiful and i will lay sinews and i will do all of these things go to verse 7 that's what i'm looking for he said prophesy and this verse says so i he said deliver so i i'm here today because god sent me if he says prophesy then we must prophesy if he says restoration then we must decree it are you ready to pray father i step into everything i have lost everything that has left me left my family lift your voice and pray spiritually financially in ministry in business in career are you praying are you praying inside outside RCCG Champions Cathedral the city of worry lift your voice and declare restore restore the grace restore the favor restore the lifting Someone is praying. Someone is praying. Hallelujah. 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 My God, my God. But thou, O oh Lord, had a shield for me. My glory, you lift my head. But thou, O oh Lord, had a shield for me. My glory, the lifter up of my head But now, oh Lord, had a shield for me My glory, you lift my head Glory, gotta lift her up on my head. 
I like you. Please listen. Listen. There are few. We have a few minutes. I don't intend to delay us, especially because of our fathers. But the hand of God is upon me now. Praise the name of the Lord. Hear me. There are people here. And I'm seen by the Spirit. There are people here. There are yokes that have tied and kept individuals. Listen to me. And families. The Bible declares that now the Lord is that Spirit. And that where the Spirit of the Lord is there is liberty. There are individuals here. The only thing growing in your life is your age. Nothing else is growing. I want to pray for you right now. Listen. As I pray for you, the power of God is going to come upon you. We may not be able to do that for everybody, but I want you to bring them out here. Let's just have a few ushers. Whether you are an usher or not, just join them. There's a reason I want to pray for them. We can, because this night, except God is not God, that whatever has held you down, in the name of Jesus, it must give way. Are we together? I stretch my hands right now. At the count of three i declare that anyone here under the sound of my voice who has been tied down by witchcraft tied down by all kinds of yokes i join my faith with the fathers of faith and in the name of jesus at the count of three i want you to shout that name jesus don't come out at random don't come out at random the power of god will bring you out in the name of jesus just bring those under the anointing one Two, you shout Jesus. Three, be delivered right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. I decree and declare. Bring those under the anointing. Jesus, the name that is above all names. Bring those under the anointing. Skeparukata. Let them go. In the name of Jesus, let them go. Release their destinies. Release their destinies by the power of the Holy Ghost. Every plot that is not of God, I come by the rod of a higher priesthood. Let there be deliverance now. Let there be emancipation now. In the name of Jesus. hallelujah listen I'm praying for you there are families Zechariah chapter 1 from verse 18 it says son of man what seest thou and he said I saw four horns 19 he said these are the horns that have scattered Judah your praise scattered Israel your covenant scattered Jerusalem your peace there are horns that fight families. I'm praying again that every power sitting on anyone's destiny, you're going to shout that name again. In the name of Jesus, be delivered now. 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 Release families. Release destinies. Release families. Release destinies. Release families. Release destinies. We curse you by the God of heaven. We curse you by the God of Joshua that rides upon the wings of the wind. Hear me. Please listen. If there is any family here that has been tied down in one position, as I declare upon you, I like you to begin to receive and say, I'm moving forward. I'm making progress. I declare right now, every family that has been tied down, in the name of Jesus, go forward. Go forward. Go forward. Go forward. Go forward. Go forward. No delay. Go forward. Restoration. In the name of Jesus. Let 
that hope let it rise darkness trembles in your holy light hope is rising in this place tonight hear me listen all of you who are in front here listen hold on everyone in front here i declare that everything that has tied you by the god of heaven i command it to leave you now leave your family now if you are in business here lift your hands i want to pray for you alas master it was borrowed in the name that is above all names everything that has tied you down to bring reproach to the name of the lord upon your life i stand here upon this exalted altar and i declare to you come out of every debt now come out of every loss now come out of every debt now come out of every loss now i speak to you advance 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 go forward advance in the name of jesus hallelujah now listen to me please just two three minutes and i'm done the bible speaks about a man in the book of esther called mordecai mordecai once saved the life there are two people who did well but were not rewarded in scripture number one was joseph he helped the wine presser to interpret his dream and he said when you are restored please tell the king i'm innocent the man added two years to joseph's pain a man's memory a man's forgetfulness can multiply your times of pain until god as an act of his mercy brought a dream to pharaoh and the wine presser said i remember my wrong the second person was mordecai he saved the life of ahasuerus the king over 127 provinces and mordecai was not rewarded but when his time came the bible says that night could not the king sleep i'm saying this because god is about to open the book of remembrance <laughs> hear me there are some of you who have been part of the success story of many people you have contributed to the rising of many you have helped to take shame out of many but you have been forgotten in the name of jesus i bow my knees to the god of my covenant don't kneel down i'm the one kneeling down i pray for you between now and the next three months if god be god be remembered in the name of jesus be remembered in the name of jesus be remembered in the name of jesus that night could not a hazard of sleep and he said bring me the chronicles when they brought him the chronicles he saw where mordecai saved his life and yet was not rewarded and he said who is in the chamber Haman was there and he said what shall be done to the man who does this Haman thought he was the one and so out of the abundance of his selfishness he gave a recommendation he said do that immediately can i speak to you there are some of you who are at this conference it looks like you are nobody's ignored but i stand by the grace of god and i declare may what happened to mordecai happen to you yeah. hear me the bible says let god arise and let his enemies be scattered when haman coordinated the honor of mordecai he returned back broken to his wife and he said wife look at what happened to me and he said uh -uh, mordecai is a jew esther is a jew you are in trouble 
he said this one has come to get you because there is a covenant that protects them can i speak to you anybody that has mocked your god and fought your covenant may what happened to her man happen to them in the name of jesus christ i want you to go back home today with this consciousness that the lord has restored to me both things and years you are barren here trusting god for the fruit of the womb i want you to not just expect one child expect twins expect triplets in the name of jesus christ and may i lend my voice with the pastor and the leaders to encourage you please do not miss tomorrow morning session for anything it's a conference it takes a sacrifice but every session is worth your while and worth your coming open up your heart and ensure that you are around and invite as many if there is no space if you have to climb the roof climb and sit there in the days of jesus christ everybody who came had something to go back with for tonight may the lord bless you may the lord honor you in the name of jesus you will not need to tell people you came to church the testimonies that begin to happen will tell people that you met god in the name of jesus christ god bless you and see you tomorrow dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message i want you to keep doing something for this man of god our man of god apostle joshua salmon and that is i want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of jesus christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of christianity and then don't forget to like this video don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing jesus I'll see you again bye